In this short video, I'm going to show you how to install a brass ground plate into your Fender Deluxe amplifier. These instructions will apply to these kit build amps where there is no ground plate and they use the back of the pots for the ground connection. So first step, you need to acquire a piece of brass shim stock. This is 10 thousandths of an inch thick. You're going to cut it 3 inch by 17 inches bend it down the center because that will go in here behind the pots. So for this operation to work you need to remove all the knobs and the hardware behind them then you're going to flip those back we're going to raise the eyelet board allow clearance for the brass plate. So I've got all the controls loose and retracted back to allow room for the new plate to go down into the chassis. Now you may find that there's rubber grommets or possibly some hardware in the way that you're going to have to notch around so that the plate will lay flush. So I have a nut to clear and the bias pot. The good thing about this brass shim stock is you can easily cut it with scissors. Okay, the brass plate is in place. You see I cleared the rubber grommets. I made a notch around that nut and the bias pot. Next step will be to mark the holes and get them drilled. All right, now you want to scribe your holes. So reach in, pull that plate tight to the front panel. I use a little piece of tape to keep the panel centered and then take something to scribe the holes. In this case, I'm just using a center punch, but you can also use a dental pick or a pencil. So now that you have the plate marked with the holes, you need to center punch them and then use a block of wood underneath of the brass and drill them out. So I've got all the holes center drilled. Next I'm going to take a stepper bit and open them up to the dimension of the controls. Now a good idea is to take this one step further than the actual holes to allow some clearance to align the plate. There's the drilled plate ready to install into the fender amp. All right, the plate is installed. You can see everything is going to line up. But before you reinstall the controls, you got to remove all those ground jumpers and the wires that are soldered to the back of the controls because they are going to go to the new ground plate. Well, there it is. The brass ground plate is installed. All the ground runners land to it, just like Fender did back in the day. It's really too bad that these kit manufacturers won't provide this plate. It would make their kits much more reliable and less noisy.